activity number four. This activity is called three by three by three. I just have to warn you when you begin to do this activity, it may not sound so pleasant. You may have to use all your mindfulness tools to know that it's okay to go through this unpleasantness because I promise you at the end of this activity, you will go to the next step in dealing with whatever it is that you're experiencing right now. So anxiety and fear is the time to do this three by three activity. Anxiety means you're afraid of something that's coming as if whatever you're thinking about is definitely going to happen. How do you deal with that anxiety and face it, face the fear and actually deal with it? So right now pause and get a pad and a writing pad and a pen and we need three pieces of paper, okay? I need one, two, three. Number one, I'm going to write three things I am afraid of three things that are unpleasant, those are my fears. I may be really convinced about it, but those are my fears. So for example, let's say you broke up with someone and you're feeling the loss. You're feeling this really, the knots in your tummy and you're not able to let go of it. What are you anxious about? So what I'm going to be writing in one, two, three, is what am I going what am I anxious about so an example if you are broken up in some cases maybe these are the fears I will be lonely for the rest of my life I'm ugly so nobody wants me or I'll be too depressed to get anything else done so these are examples of fear now pause and write your three things that you think could be happening, you are anxious about it, those are your fears. Okay. Now, when you look at these fears, know that, that these are fears and not facts. You don't know if it is really going to happen or not. Life has strange things that can that it can bring to you, and things can change. And so to know that, to look at this, know that, and then understand whatever you are writing, whatever you have written, unpleasant, knots in the tummy, heart rate, whatever you are experiencing, just relax your body, look at it objectively, knowing that these are not facts. Yes, I know. Yes, maybe I don't know. And then crumple it, crumple it deliberately, put it aside. Now the next piece of paper, one, two, three. Again, it may seem like I'm going fast because I would like you to pause and work on the three things at a time, then go to the next step. Next step. So number two is going to be, what are my strengths? So in this case, it could be, I am a kind and compassionate person. I am a good listener. I keep trying new things. So these are my strengths. So look at these strengths. Read them one at a time to yourself and feel it in your guts. Feel it all the way. That these are the strengths. That's what's going to help you to build whatever it is that you want to build. So to know that this is also the truth about you. Whatever you think is the negative things about you, that doesn't mean make the whole of you. That's only part of you. This, the strengths are also a big part of you. So now this you're going to keep on the side, not crumple it, keep on the side. And now it's page number three, paper number three. 
and here you are going to write three things that realistically speaking you would want to happen realistically speaking right now you may have to stretch your imagination a little bit to know what is realistically speaking because right now everything may seem like dark future but you know you have already crumpled the dark future objectively speaking so examples of what you would like to happen in the future because you just broke up is uh, I want to be self-confident I want to know how to be happy on my own I would like to learn to control my anger these are examples of what you would like to see happening so these are your strengths and these are the things that you would like to see now put them next to each other read them and see if any one of these strengths can be used to go towards whatever it is that you want to happen. It may take you a little bit of time. It may take a little bit of imagination. But you know where mindfulness helps you? Mindfulness tells you that unpleasant feelings are just feelings. It's not the fact, it's not something that's always going to stay. Because of that, you are going to be able to put this crumpled paper aside and look at it objectively. What you want to see is how can you make your wishes happen. If you are not able to think about it right away, know that's what you would like to happen. Read both these things carefully close your eyes and say to yourself may I find a way to take number two and make number three happen what that means is may I take my strengths understand my strengths and use those to make what I wish was there it may take time it may require some thinking but may I do that and knowing that is your refuge and that's what you want to happen. All the best to you.